Hello and welcome, my name is Van. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you another way, another method to solve this kind of question other than using the total value concept. I will still be using that knowledge of total value but not entirely total value whereby you take the number of units or the number of tickets sold multiplied by the price of a ticket. I'll show you how it's done because in max is it's interrelated or is related is connected to your everyday life and you can see how you can draw the same knowledge that you use on a science experiment to be to apply in this case using the same analogy whenever you think of a science experiment you always make one only one variable different. The rest of the variables must be kept the same. Why? So that whatever differences in experiments all right, are due to the particular variable that are kept different. Right? The same logic, same reasoning that how I can actually apply in this particular case. Nothing wrong in using the total value concept. Okay, You may want to use one unit for the child in terms of tickets and then one unit plus 35 and then you multiply by 3 and multiply by 8 respectively and you get your answer. Of course I will say that uh, in this case there's no preferred method because I will say both are equally efficient. Just that to show you another perspective. Oh sorry. <laughs> okay let's let's take a look at this question. This is adapted from 2014 Catholic High Preliminary Paper 2, Question 18. The price of a child ticket and an adult ticket to a concert are $3 and $8 each, respectively. The amount collected from the sale of the child tickets is $730, $30 less than the amount from the sale of the adult tickets. So the number of child tickets sold is um, 35 fewer than the number of adult tickets sold. How many tickets are sold altogether? So, like what I said just now, I will need the knowledge of total value because in order to know the total amount collected, we need to understand that it is made of two components, two variables. Number of tickets multiplied by the price of a ticket. Clear? The next, you may, not, you may want to do away with the model if you can already know what I'm talking about, but for illustrations, I may want to draw you this model. So what is the amount collected from sale? Okay, we know that um, certain portion from child tickets and certain am amount from, um, from the adult tickets and the adults will have $730 more than that of the child tickets. So, like going back at the two variables again, is any one of them the same? Take a look. Number of tickets? No. We are told that there were 35 um, tickets fewer. And then the price of the ticket, yeah, of course no, because one is sold at three dollars, the other one is sold at eight dollars. So the difference of five dollars. What do you do? Your size experiment, you make one of the variables the same. So which one do I make the same? You can only make the number the same. Because by making the price of the ticket the same, you're going one big round again. And without knowing, okay, without knowing the, the number of child tickets and the number of adult tickets you will not be able to work out this or rather to keep the price the same. You still need the knowledge of the number of tickets. But here I can make the number of tickets the same. Okay? How do I do that? So let's say there is an equal number of adults and child tickets sold. So what would be this additional amount of money collected from the sale of child tickets? That's easy, you will take 35 multiplied by 3 and that gives us $105. So that will be the additional amount of $105. And now we know that the difference between them, okay, $730 minus $105 which is equals to $625. This difference here 
must 100 percent sure must be due to the difference in price of the tickets right here i am very sure i am 100 percent sure that it is due to the price of the tickets so with that so what is the difference between one adult and one child ticket is five dollars okay remember the number of adults and child tickets sold is already made the same so both have an equal number so for every one group I five dollars so how do I close up the gap to six hundred and twenty five dollars one group give me five dollars so blah 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 so how many adults tickets to make it 625 tickets more oh, sorry 625 dollars more so what do you do don't list down right you don't say five then why you use a number sentence that is why number sentence is so important because it helps us solve a lot of um, problems <laughs> you make things easier you just take 625 dollars divided by five you know how many groups of adults they are so we have 125 adults to get sold remember that one now we are making the the number of child tickets sold to be the same just now so in actual fact they're not the same you just take away 125 take away 35 you get 90 so the total number you just add up together you have 215 probably i'll do another slide to show you that how you can actually make use of total value into this question but it never harms to know more science is everyday life the same as what you are experiencing the same as what you have gone through for science and in, even for other daily lives um daily matters so don't isolate math don't think that it's difficult it is not this is how we, we solve the five marks question that's easy and see you again and have a good day bye